for the ninth and the last session of our conference, I would like to invite research assistant Emine Seda Çağlayan Mazanoğlu and the chairperson, Associate Professor Dr. Nur Tembirlik. Uh, welcome to the last session of the day. Uh, it's a great, great pleasure for me to introduce such a young scholar. Emine Seydar Çağlayan Mazanoğlu was born in Izmir in uh, 1985. She took her BA in 2007 and her MA um, degree in 2010 at Hacettepe University, English Language and Literature Department, where she has been working as a research assistant, uh, assistant since 2009. She's uh, currently pursuing her doctoral degree at the same department. Her master's thesis was on nationalism, Englishness, and nation building in Shakespeare's Richard II and Henry V. She, uh, she's recently working on Shakespeare's problem plays in her dissertation entitled Revisiting Shakespeare's Problem Plays, the Text and the Audience in Context. Her research interests are Shakespearean studies, Renaissance, English drama, contemporary British drama, and Turkish drama. She presented papers in several national and international conferences, uh, such as the such as Second International Idea Conference, Ninth World Shakespeare Conference, Essay Conferences in Italy and Istanbul, and a Ninth and Tenth Britgrad Shakespeare Co Shakespeare Conference at um, at the Shakespeare Institute, and um, Shakespeare Conference in France. She has also published uh, on postcolonialism in Othello. The Challenging Female Figures in the Merchant of Venice and Measure for Measure and Actors' Varied Interpretations in the Tempest and Hamlet. Her paper is titled All the World is a Stage, Shakespeare on the Turkish Stage. Yes, the floor is yours. First of all, uh, my distinguished professors and our guests and dear students, it's an honor for me to present a paper in front of you. So I want to thank you very much for uh, this chance. Um, I want to start my presentation with a quotation from Aziz Çalışlar. He says, every staging of a play, every single staging presents a different artistic production. Every staging of Shakespeare's plays on the Turkish stage by the state theater, city theater, and private theaters has presented a distinctive, uh, creative, and constructive output. In this sense, in my presentation, I will focus on the stagings of Shakespeare's various plays by the state theater in different periods while making references to particular stagings of Istanbul City Theater and analyze these stagings in terms of the use of theatrical elements such as scenery, costume, and lighting. By this means, I, I aim to demonstrate the variations and evolutions in staging Shakespeare on the Turkish stage by the state theater as various developments in staging techniques and stage setting has been uh, observed. Before going into details of the uh, stagings, I want to display the most stage plays, particularly by the state theater, and when we look at these most stage plays, we see that A Midsummer Night's Dream uh, is the most stage play by uh, the State Theater, as it has been uh, staged uh, by 12 times under different names, as we have talked in previous uh, presentations, like Bahar Noktası, Bir Yaz Dönümü Gecesi Rüyası, and the Hamlet, Twelve uh, Night, and Macbeth, and other plays follow uh, the A Midsummer Night's Dream. And uh, the onstage plays by the State Theatre of Shakespeare uh, are, as you see here, the problem plays, two problem plays, All is Well That Ends Well, and Trill uh, and Criseda uh, were in stage, and the history plays as well, they were in stage by the State uh, Theatre too. And uh, I also did some private stagings by some private theatres, and when we look at the list of the private theatres, some private theatres, we see that uh, there is much more variety as uh, the uh, place like Antonia and Cleopatra, which wasn't staged by the state theater, was staged by the private companies. 
uh, or Titus Andronicus, uh, like uh, uh, Antony and Cleopatra was staged by Semaver Kumpanya. And uh, the, first, uh, the first stagings of Shakespeare, in fact, on the Turkish stage, go back to the 19th century, as uh, Professor Hallman mentioned in his uh, opening uh, speech. Uh, and I will continue uh, dealing with the staging starting with the constitutional period. Musin Arturul, uh, who is an actor and director and contributed greatly to the Turkish Turkish theatre as the general art director of both the state theatre and city theatre directed Hamlet and played the reading uh, role in 1912 after he returned from Paris where he had received theatrical education. In the theatrical season of 1927 and 28, Shakespeare's Hamlet was this time staged by Darul Bedai, which was an institution of the constitutional period but contributed notably to the development of the contemporary Turkish theater also in the Republic period. Darul Bedai Osmani was established in 1914 as a conservatory and named as Istanbul City Theater in 1934 and Musin Arturul, who was appointed as the manager of the institution in the season of 1927 and 28, was accepted to the theater department of Darul Bedai as an assistant instructor by performing a scene from Hamlet in 1914. Arturul himself translated the Hamlet staged in 1927, directed the play, and played the leading role, yet he didn't publish this translation of the play after the performance. Shakespeare was not only staged by the first conservatory, but also by the developing educational institutions of the Republic. On 17th of April in 1940, with the Village Institutions Act, the informal education started in rural areas, and the theatrical education constitutes a significant part of this education. Particularly at Hasan Olan Village Institution in Ankara, performance lectures were given by Ankara State Conservatory instructors like Mayir Janova and Junaid Gökçer and Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream and Jules Caesar were staged along with various plays of the Western literature by the students. The practice stage uh, in Turkish Tatbikat Sainisi, which was established for the first performances of the first graduates of the State Conservatory in 1941, was significant for Shakespeare's stagings. In 1942, the second play of the players of the practice stage was Jules Caesar, which was directed by Karl Ebert. In 1946, during Izmir and Istanbul tours, the Comedy of Errors was staged. Lutfi Ay comments on and compares the stage designs of both plays by the practice stage in his statement in press bulletin as follows, quote, though it does not have a long past, practice stage has so far staged two plays of Shakespeare. Jules Caesar and Comedy of Errors. While the former is unspirited despite the massive scenery, the latter has been so successful and engaged attention of the audience." Unquote. After the state theater was established in 1949, Küçük Tiyatro, which had been used as a storehouse of the conservatory, and Büyük Tiyatro, which had been an art gallery, were transformed into playhouses by Musin Arturul, not only the plays of the Turkish playwrights, but also works from the World Theatre were performed. In Sevda Şenar's words, quote, it is obvious that Musin Arturul valued the development of playwriting, encouraged the young playwrights, chose important classic and modern works, which forced the audience to think, unquote. Shakespeare's Hamlet, performed in the theatrical season of 1950 and 51, was one of these thought-provoking classic plays. In this staging, which is the first Hamlet staged by the State Theatre, the stage design is quite plain, as the scenery emphasizes the historicity of the play, which gives the actors and actresses prominence. The whole action takes place in a single main scenery, as all the scenes are in a platform of a castle, and the balanced scenery has been maintained by the stairs and the queen bed. 
In the season of 1951 and 52, A Midsummer Night's Dream, which was directed by again Professor Carl Ebert and accompanied by Presidential Symphony Orchestra with an opera by Felix Mendelssohn, was staged. In the introduction of the play, published in the State Theatre Monthly Art Magazine, the staging is described as follows, quote, it has not been so easy to provide the necessary poetic and dreamy atmosphere without ruining the classic tone. Yet Professor Karl Ebert did not have difficulty by his extensive knowledge and experience." Unquote. The scenery of forest, which is behind a veil, provides the fabulous atmosphere which is suitable for the play. The real characters and the names are presented in harmony in the stage setting. The use of classical costume and stage design with a one-piece massive scenery and very few stage property draw the attention. In the upcoming years, after Musin Arturul was appointed as general director of the State Theatre in 1954 for the second time, he continued the tradition of staging at least one Shakespeare play every year, which he had started in Istanbul City Theatre with the stagings of Otello and Twelfth Night in the theatre season of 1954 and 55. Otello was directed by Mahir Janova, and Otello was performed by Nuri Altnok and Kerim Afshar, and Twelfth Night was directed by Junaid Gökçer. The stage designs of both plays are similar, as massive illustrated panels are used, and this is the Twelfth Night, a scenery with classical costume and very few stage property where the actors come to the front. In the 1954 and 55 season, Istanbul City Theatre staged an unusual version of Hamlet under Musin Arturul's management, which was different from his other stagings of the play, as Hamlet was performed by Nur Sabuncu, the second woman Hamlet of the Turkish stage. The first woman Hamlet was Sirenus Nigosia, an Armenian actress, and he, she acted Hamlet in 1910, and Nur Sabuncu became the second uh, woman Hamlet. Arturo's choice of Sabuncu for Hamlet's part provoked reaction among actors and actresses, as it was a highly radical and an innovative choice that Hamlet was going to be performed by a woman. Furthermore, Sabuncu's inexperience as an actress made an impression that she wouldn't be successful in this role. Cengiz Korucu expresses Haldun Dorman's opinions, who performed Laertes in this staging, yet had expected to perform Hamlet uh, in an interview in uh, Dorman's words. Quote, Dorman says, Hamlet was going to be performed by a young woman named Nur Sabuncu, who hadn't done professional acting before. This got negative reactions. Hamlet was going to be performed by a woman for the first time in Turkey. And what is more, a woman uh, who hadn't appeared on stage before, unquote. Yet, Sabuncu's performance was acclaimed by the audience. In the period between 1960 and 1980, the unrest in the political, social, economic atmosphere of Turkey affected the cultural and artistic developments. As Şener has asserted, quote, the playwrights have represented one of the most sensitive intellectual groups reacting to such a situation. The unrest of the 70s have affected the theatrical productions. The problems have been presented on the stage and discussed in the plays." Unquote. The practice of staging the plays of both the Turkish playwrights and the foreign playwrights started in the 1950s, continued in this period. Yet the Turkish playwrights were given much more priority. Furthermore, the developments in stage design in terms of particularly scenery gave the first signs of modernization and progress in staging. Shakespeare's Hamlet was staged in the season of 1961 and 62, which was directed by Junaid Gökçer and uh, who played, who performed the role of Hamlet for the second time. Melih Vassaf praised this staging of Hamlet in his column published uh, on 7th of March in 1962 as follows. Quote, if we consider Hamlet, which was staged on this stage a few years ago, 
the present staging is certainly superior in terms of scenery and costume, unquote. 